Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you the review of this pen and this is the Pelican M800. So, this pen comes inside this box. The box has this cardboard, is a cardboard box, white one, and it has this hole where you can put your finger and push the box. And inside you have a box with a lid that says champagne color, that says pelican and has the logo. And you remove the lid and you have a pen pouch, like a pen envelope with a seal with the pelican logo there. And you have this concave surface on the bottom. You can pull this little flap and inside you have the a little booklet with the history of Pelican and some models and the warranty. And this is useful to show you these parts. Then you have here the pen envelope with an elastic rubber band. You can take it out and you will have your pen inside. Why is there another pen that is not mine? Okay, let's go to it and, let, and then we'll go back to the review. This pen is a pen that I showed you before at least in two videos and even in the videos of the week, uh, pens of the month that I make, sorry. I made a video when I bought this pen and I also, it was called Illogical Purchases and I also made a video about pens that I should hate but I don't and it was featured there. One of the reasons that makes me not be that, that, that happy about this pen is the nib. The nib is a medium nib and it is too fat for my preferences. So why did I buy a M nib that is too fat for what I like? I did it because this pen was being sold in a store in a used condition and it was only for 100 euros and this is a pen that costs new 440 so it was like a, an irrational purchase an illogical purchase as i made in the video and i bought it because i found it to be a nice purchase and then i had a viewer that asked me if i wanted to exchange my nib M nib for his nib, which is an F nib. This is the same pen but with a blue version. And you have there fine nib. If I wanted to exchange the nib of my pen for his because he wanted a broader nib and I would I wanted a finer nib, I said yes for sure. And he sent me the pen and said that I could um keep it for some days to make uh, the videos I wanted and so I thought it would be a nice opportunity to show you the case because this came without any case. So long explanation now, let's go for the characteristics of the pen because this is really a review and not about the blue, it's about the green version. So as I was telling, this is the M800, there is also the M805 and the M8, M805 is this version that has the silver colored trim instead of the gold colored trim. There. It may not be the, the transparent version, but it's the, that. So the M800 have the gold colored trim. This one is a very classic finish, the one of the regular editions that is more special edition, the, the transparent one, but this is a regular edition with the green, gold and black. On the top of the cap you have this shape, quite hard to describe what it is, but this stacked shape and then on the top you have the pelican logo with the pelican mother and the chick there, mother or father, I don't really know, um, then you have the clip, which is a typical pelican clip with the head of the pelican, the two, the two eyes there, and then 
the beak it makes a slope there that makes it very easy to fit in pockets and pen cases the barrel the pen is mostly cylindrical here and here the barrel is made with these transparent celluloid or cellulose acetate with stripes it is transparent which is quite nice and it is a piston filler pen so it has double band here and this uh, and screws to fill and empty the pen i will not do it because the pen has ink inside it has two gold bands also on the cap not only there one is larger than the other and it says pelican souverain germany the pen and screws the cap and screws and you have the section screws which are not very high are made of the same black material as the as the section the section is quite fat and very good in size in my opinion and then you have the big nib like a equivalent of a number six nib that has there 18c which means 18 carats and m beneath and it says there 750 which is the gold content and this is an M nib and you can see it is quite fat it has a plastic feed so this is the pen this part is transparent as I told you and I'm not sure if I will be able to show you the transparency but I think you can see now the ink inside there slashing around so beautiful pen that i bought for a nice price let's now see some of the features of the pen of the characteristics for writing i find this pen very pleasant to hold very nice size i would say this is kind of perfect size for a fountain pen and i find it very good to write as it is however some people like to post the their pens and this pen is completely postable I don't know if postable exists as a word you can post it it the, the, it posts deeply enough to post securely and to have the cap being here so it's not back heavy and it is quite nice to write but if you hold it a little lower it will be back, back heavy so i usually prefer to use my pens like this another thing that i found is that if i cap if i post the pen the pen will not post on the blind cap, so it will not unscrew the piston, which is good to avoid accidents. So this is a very nice pen in terms of size and comfort in the writing experience. So let me just make some comparisons. I have here the M805 that I already showed you, so the same size, no uh, special things here. I will try to zoom in a little, the same size. And I have here also for comparison a Pelican M200 from some years ago, which is called the Smoke or Anthracite or something like that. It's a transparent one, but a smoky or a smoked color. And I have also here for my color comparison or my size comparison sorry the Lamy Safari this is the candy edition for 2020 the violet color and I also have here the Parker Centennial Lufold and I find the Parker Centennial Lufold one of my most perfect pens in terms of size and what I like in a pen and we can say they are very comparable between each other and this is something that I like. The size of the pens is the same. The girth of the pens is approximately the same. The differences are that the, the Pelican has different kind of, uh, how can I say, of these rings. The, clip, the shape of clip is different also, the top of the cap, but the, the shape is the same and the Pelican is maybe two or three millimeters longer 
the cap is a little longer on the, the, the on the pelican, but then this black part, which is not a blind cap on the parker, but it is on the on the pelican, is longer here. It doesn't mind. It is a very comparable pen. So it, I would say this is the full version of the pelican. The section on the pelican is a little shorter, as you can see, and the nib is about the same size. And this is something that makes me very happy about these two pens. I would like to show you the nibs, but... Okay, now you can see them. And now, let's see how the pen writes. And here I am with the pen and paper. And let's see how this performs. So, this is the the Pelican M800 green and black with a M nib. I've showed these before. There is a video where I show the noise that the nib makes on the paper, which is very particular. The paper is the Rodia.pad and the ink that I am using is a very nice green ink, the Montblanc Daniel Defoe Palm Green. And as you may see, this nib is very broad for my personal liking. It, it really puts lots of ink on paper. However, it performs really well. You can write very quickly, you will have no problem at all, and it makes a little noise on the paper when it's writing. It's an interesting thing. So, what I have to say is that I write with this kind of letter size. In my everyday writing. And you may see this is too fat for this kind of handwriting. So this doesn't really suit my way of writing. But you may see that the nib is beautiful. It is very well made, very fat and very wet. You can see it is really wet nib. About the reverse writing. You can have a finer line when in reverse but I don't think it's that much. It's not as smooth, but it is not scratchy. It is something very interesting with this nib, is that it writes really well. Just the size is not for me. That's the only thing I have to, to say about this. I think um, this is really, really a nice pen. Good size, writes well, smooth, but it makes that <laughs> little squeaky noise. So what I have to say is that I got used to this, so yes, I could live with this nib, but I will not have this pen as an everyday writing. And I like to have my pens to be able to take them to, to write every day. And I think that exchanging the nib will have a nice thing, so I have to thank you, my viewer, for giving me the opportunity of swapping the nib. And this is all that I had to show. This is an, ex this is an expensive pen. It is a piston filler 
but let me show you here it doesn't take that much ink when we see many posts about this online they refer it takes about 1.3 milliliters of ink and for example the Parker ink cartridge the long one uh, takes 1.2 so it's not that much ink but I, personally I don't want to have lots of ink there's no need for me to, to have that and this is a really really good ink a, a really good uh, pen and delivers a good amount of ink on paper writes well very well made and not expand not 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 cheap it's more on the expensive side side but you have a very nice pen as a lifelong companion in, in, this is my impression this is a pen that i really really like a lot and i think you can notice by what i'm saying my, one of my favorite pens ever is the parker centennial Lufold. and i think i don't know if both brands like this kind of comparison but I find these pens to be very comparable and you will choose one or another if you prefer to use piston fillers or if you prefer to use cartridge converter otherwise they, are, they have the same kind of experience the same kind of quality so very nice so I'm rambling about I just want to say thank you for watching this is a very nice pen and the next time you'll see this pen on my videos I guess it will have the fine nib that now you can find on the blue one so this is all for today I hope you liked this video and I will see you next time bye